The little old town was famed not only for its architecture, but also for its gardens. We perceived that some of them had an individual touch, as though planned and planted by a magic hand. Who planned these gardens? I asked a neighbor. A charming old lady from Main Street was the answer. Could we get her to help with our garden? I suggested. Oh, no. She doesn't work for a living. It was a rebuff, as if our query were a slap at her gentility. As we sat in our patio and surveyed the dump around us, I said, A patio must have a garden, a green, grassy room under the sky. The grills seemed rather ludicrous as we looked beyond them into the pile of ashes. But we know nothing about planning or planting a garden, I said. Have you no faith, she said. God has been with us so far. I think it was that same afternoon that I ran to her. She is here. Who, said Gertrude? The garden lady from Main Street, I whispered. We ushered her a little tremulously down the patio steps to the grills. Nothing was said for a long time. Then she whispered, Beautiful, beautiful. It seemed rather irrelevant as we looked about at the ashes and rubble. Then she began, You could build a wall here, a dry wall, she said. This rubble is wonderful, she whispered, as though it were some precious thing. It could make the foundation of the wall, and all of the crevices could be put little flowers, nepotomacini, old woman, and over it all, snow in summer. The iris in the cracks here and there, and a pair of juniper trees to set it all off. Beautiful, she said. Will you help us? And, she added softly, everything was mysterious and spoken in a whisper. And I think you could get Manuel, my gardener. He charges 40 cents an hour. Labor is quite out of bounds these days. Some are paying as much as 50. I remember when a year later we were sitting in the garden on our cast iron bench with its sprays of grapes molded in the iron, hearing the gate click. We rose to greet a friend. At the top of the wall she stood, gazed down into the sunken garden with its row of stepping stones across the green grass leading into our shaded patio. The iris were in full bloom in the cracks in the wall. Snow and summer fell in a cascade of white blossoms over the huge boulders. Baby boxwood bushes were set in a circle about a gleaming white alabaster column. She stood silent for a moment, and then she made a remark I can never forget. Oh, she said, looking about, only God could have done this. <laughs>